Hey guys, welcome back to another Matthew the Young Aviator video. Today we will be talking about the four fundamental forces of flight. You may be asking, how on earth can a huge commercial plane weighing in the region of 80 tons or more stay in the air? Today we will be learning all of that and more in the series Understanding Flight. So, the four fundamental forces of flight are lift, weight, thrust, and drag. Now, let's talk about lift first and how it is produced. Lift is produced by the air going over the wings. And this, the, wing is also, the wing has a shape and it is also called the airfoil. Now, the airfoil is shaped in such a way that it creates lift. So, air going under the wing is goes slower, creating a higher pressure area, and air going all over the top of the wing goes faster, creating a lower pressure area. Now, why does it go faster and slower over the top and bottom? The reason is the air needs to keep up. So since the air on the bottom needs to take a shorter route, the air on the top takes a longer route. Takes a longer route. It goes faster to reach the same place at the same time. Now, the air going over the wings is also called the relative airflow. Now, now lift you could also think of it as imagine putting your hand out of the car window then putting your index finger a bit slanted up you're speeding down the highway at maybe 80 kilometers an hour and and you're it feels like your hand just wants to fly away that you could also think of lift like that thrust which is also a bit interconnected with lift is produced by the engines it is in interconnected with lift because the more thrust you have the more airspeed you have which means the more relative airflow you have weight is the weight of the plane because planes don't weigh as much as a piece of paper or if you if they do you could just carry a, a plane to your house if you want to they obviously weigh in the region of 80 tons, the commercial planes, or more. And also, a plane fully loaded with all the fuel payloads, it is called the gross weight. Drag is the for resistance, you could call it a resistance, that opposes thrust. And it is, it is basically pull, pulling, I mean resisting the motion of an object in a fluid so a quick summary for takeoff lift must be greater than the weight for the plane to take off and for lift to be made thrust must also be greater than drag for the plane to take off but on landing lift must be less for the plane to land so it descends and thrust must be less than drag for the plane to land, or else the plane will go into an overspeed and crash. But then you might say, how, how, how? When is the plane is descending? How does the plane maintain the same speed? And this is because when thrust might be idle and drag is more. The weight of the plane is accelerating the plane, keeping it at a stable speed. So, thank you guys for watching the video. Like, share, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And ring the notification bell, so you don't miss out on another upload. Bye!